All right. Hey everybody, it's the Abstractionist. I'm here with the Aquarius season video. I was burnt out on these before, um, but I figured since I'm only doing like seasonal, I'm gonna just go back and do these. So um, I'm gonna try and take uh, glasses. Okay, because I don't want that little ring or whatever to kind of be <laughs> there so prominent um so there's that oh it's still prominent so i just take my glasses off all right so um comment and subscribe to the channel i do have a patreon i'm going to promote it i'm going to keep promoting it it's five dollars a month it'll be me getting more into ritual and things like that stay tuned for just other videos um check in february for that i just made an announcement i'm going to put that up a book club and um, where we're going with that so stay tuned so we're entering Aquarius season I say you're in the season because I'll read by planet and um, yeah so that's where we're going this is the phantasmagoric tarot and then I'm using the antique anatomy tarot which is a Venus deck for me or Taurus deck um, Taurus Libra finances and I'm using both of them because I feel like Uranus is in Taurus so I just want to get a little bit of that going on and let's see so what can we anticipate this season We have the moon, 18. So the moon could be very significant in um, uh, I was gonna say, that's not how you spell 18, but it is, it's just the font. So it may be really prominent in Aquarius season. So what is it, the moon in Leo, the full moon in Leo may be really important or the new moon, there may be for some of you guys, the moon in Sagittarius may be really prominent or significant. And so it's going to be a time of developing yourself, developing your abilities. Um, making sure that with the Pisces also, so it could be Pisces too. It, like you may feel a sense of relief when the moon goes into Pisces um, so making sure that you are wrapping up cycles and things like that to move into Pisces season it almost feels like if you if you feel that Sagittarius energy um, you'll feel it again in Pisces energy. They're both mutable signs, so letting it go, but you may end up having some sort of direct awareness of it when the moon is in Sagittarius. So little things like your moon may be in Sagittarius or in a mutable sign, but there's something about the last two mutables as opposed to the first two. Like it, it feels like it's like you're almost there and you are learning something it's like the space between Sagittarius and Pisces is really significant so I don't know if this is Sagittarius season so like coming from last year all the way until Pisces season it may be for some people that that's the case So in that time period, there must have been some things that have come to light that are now being released. Um, with the Sagittarius, it may have been that they came up in little blips and little waves and things like that. Like you have profound experiences, but it almost seems like you had a profound experience 
and then like you would lit up and light bulb moment and then it died away until there was another light bulb moment but you may not have been connecting them in this time period like they may have been very significant but you treated them or saw them more as like isolated incidences as opposed to like something that formed a larger picture so when it comes to that when it comes up again take note of it i would say write it down i think sagittarius is very enlightened but it does seem like they don't write things down my north node is in sag but they don't seem to write things down they're going off of like memory and stuff like that but memory and that's maybe a piscean lesson it's like you keep losing um grip of it because you don't write it down so this is important i guess for the new year the new astrological year or anything like that because pisces would be like wrapping things up right before we go into aries write things down write down your grievances cross them off it would be a great time to do release work it would be a great time to do um work on what do you want to do why do you want to do it um, it would be a great time to just figure that out, but not be so attached to like how it's going to get done, but like why you want it done, refining that, and then what you want done, refining that. So you have strength. So by Leo season, or when the moon is in Leo, this will come up. So um, Leo does come before Sagittarius. So you'll start to really see it come up in Leo, moon in Leo. So the full moon in Leo. It's uh, I see it as like a center light and it's attracting all of this stuff. So it's going to be very prominent, something you can't ignore, something that won't go away, something that leaves a very lasting impression to where you have to. And because Leo is fixed energy like Aquarius, it stays with you. It leaves an impression. So basically, whatever this is now is going to leave an impression. It's I don't want to say it's because you don't hold on to it to work on it, but because you may not have worked on it the way that you need to to move to the next phase it's going to come in a way that is prominent and it sticks and with strength here you may need to have some sort of emotional strength or um, mental strength to like hold on to it so it could be something that's related to trials tribulations um, things that are not easily obtained and the things that you have to settle in a little bit more for the long haul um, before you reach where you're going. So, ah, uh, okay. So I was thinking of like the color red when I did, when I like pulled this, thinking of a red card for this deck, which isn't the case. And then I looked up and I saw that I had a red cup, but with this red here, it probably will be something that maybe taps into the emotion of anger or taps into the emotion of passion um, or taps into something that causes, um, not dis-ease, but um, unsettling or something like that. Something where you can see that the rumbles of um, discontent or the rumbles of some larger emotion are coming up. So pay attention to that. Red may be a good color to um, build the energy up for some people. And then other people, it'll be really good to um, 
stay away from. It depends. And you may find yourself sensitive to the color red at this time. It just may be a little bit more sensitive. So, yeah. All right. All right. Thank you for watching this Aquarius or you're in a season video. Patreon will be linked below. I have Instagram, things like that. That's just kind of more an announcement for it. But yeah, sign up for Patreon and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.